Red, blue, white. Those three colors have come to dictate our lives from the moment we are born. Symbols of status. The red card, issued only to those individuals who have received a degree from the highest universities, they're a symbol of educated elite, given expedited methods of voting. Then there's the blue cards. As the financial top 1%, blue cards are exclusive by nature. Their card gives them access to private clubs, housing developments, and imported cars. Their money is usually generational and carries weight. They're often excused for most crimes and are usually granted high positions within government. And finally, the white cards. Individuals that fall into both of the listed categories. We have... Well, we have everything. Hey, man. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> Where you been? Sorry I'm late. The blink train was delayed. Well, I could have gone and picked you up. I mean, I just could have used... Where's your card? I think I left it at home. It's all good, though. We can just walk back there and get it. Wait, wait, right there. Let me see your cards. Oh, we're just on my way back to uh, my house right now. I left my white card there. Where's your card? I'm Blake, officer. Do you expect me to believe that a blank's hanging out with a white card? It's not out of the ordinary. I'm gonna need you to put your hands on your head. Go ahead and turn around. Wait. Put my hands yeah. behind my head. Do you understand? I'm a white card, correct? I'm gonna get my father into this. He's a very powerful man. Okay. Do you see what's happening right now? Hey, come on! Come on! This is completely unnecessary. I'm going back to my house to get my white card. Let me just go over there. It's just a block away. Come on. Ethan, it's gonna be alright. I'm gonna call my dad and he's gonna come on his way down and he's gonna pick us up, okay? I can't believe this. Uh, Mr. Peters, you're free to go. Sorry for your inconvenience. That's it? I just need to go? Uh, your dad brought in this. I can walk you out. Do you think Ethan's parents were waiting there for him? I have no idea, son. And actually, it wouldn't make any difference either way. What do you mean? Nothing. No, it's not nothing. What do you mean? <sighs> James, Ethan is a blank. And as charitable as it is for you to have been spending so much time with there's nothing that his parents, or anyone else for that matter, can do for him now. Why would anybody want to do anything for him? I mean, we weren't doing anything illegal, we weren't breaking the law. We were arrested for no reason. <sighs> well, cops don't arrest people for no reason. I was arrested for no reason. You didn't have your card. That's reason enough. Being irresponsible, hanging out with a blank, forgetting your card at home. These are things what that... What does hanging out with Ethan have to do with any of this? All I'm saying is, we have certain benefits in this world. I work hard. Your grandfather worked hard. His father before him worked even harder. So that we could have certain benefits. Right? So you could have this. Ethan can't even imagine some of the things that we have. The least you can do is to treat those benefits responsibly. Well, I haven't worked hard. Why do I deserve to sit in this car while Ethan has to ride the bus? Why do I deserve to have an amazing education while thousands of blanks just get the backhand? Why do I deserve to be in this free any more than Ethan deserves to be in jail? Are you serious, James? I mean, can you hear yourself? How could you? Be ashamed of what you have. You should be proud. That card and the advantages that come with it are a sign of hard work. You're born into it. 
To have a pathway to success is something you should be proud of. And I'll be goddamned if I let you or anyone else apply shame or guilt to that. People would die to be in your shoes. You know what? It's time you learn to appreciate what you have. Judge Campbell. Oh, Mr. Peters. Oh, yeah. Actually, we need to file a request for um, my son to be carded. Okay. And uh, I'd like to know what's the soonest that I can get a hearing. Uh, I mean, I don't have another hearing for at least an hour. Why don't you step into my chambers? Excellent. Now, normally, there's a stack of paperwork this thick required to declare someone carded. Are you prepared to fill out that paperwork, James? No, Your Honor. Good. Me either. What the court is prepared to do for you at this time, with your father's permission, of course, is to offer you a one-week trial. Essentially, you will live without your card for that period of time um, and lose all assigned benefits. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. And the purpose of this process is to outline to many the benefits of our program to which they may not agree. Does that, do you, does that make sense? Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Then, that settles it. James Peters, you are now carded for seven days. Please leave your white card on the table on your way out. Looks like you're walking home. Just like that, I had nothing. But soon I saw it was much bigger than that. The discomfort, the price, I was, I was so ignorant to it all. The everyday struggles, the little things that made everything that much harder. It had always been out of sight and out of mind. But my perspective was shifting. My internet access was censored. I couldn't go on nearly half the sites I normally would. I was beginning to see a glimpse of their world. A world Ethan had grown up in without choice and without reason. And he didn't get to leave it after a week. I knew I had to go see him. Hey man, they finally let me see you after a week. I got out an hour after the arrest. My dad came. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. Anyways, how are you? <laughs> no, I've been better. <laughs> well, I mean, how's prison treating you? It's strange. They still won't tell me why I'm here, but they haven't informed my parents. I keep on being moved to different cells. But this whole system is ridiculous. They carded me. Carded? Yeah, they took away my white card. Forever? No, just one week, but I'm a blank now, and, well, I'm starting to realize how hard it is to live as a blank. <laughs> What's so funny? It's just interesting to hear that your entire existence is mocked as a punishment. You know, I don't see it like that. This whole system is a mess. This whole system got you out of here in less than 60 minutes. Well, it shouldn't even be a mess in the first place, though. I mean. We were just walking through a park and, and if anything, I was out of line for not having my white card. No, I was out of line for not having a card at all. That's how this all works. But it shouldn't. But it does. Well, I gotta go. Look, there's no use getting all worked up about it. Care, uh, Judge Campbell. Thank you, once again, for uh, meeting with us uh, privately. Yes, absolutely. We gotta take care of our own kind around here, Mr. Peters. Especially on sensitive matters. 
James Peters, do you understand why you're here today? Look, I know this is an informal setting, Mr. Peters, but I am going to have to ask you for an auditory response. Do you accept the readmission of your white card? Mr. Peters. No. No. Do you, Peters, understand the magnitude of rejecting this white card today? I mean, I'm going to have to repeat myself. Do you accept the readmission of this white card? No. I do not accept to be better than someone else. Someone just as capable. Someone just as hardworking. Someone like Ethan. He's still in there. And no one is doing a damn thing about it. And you want to know why? Because of a stupid card. A meaningless card. A card that dictates who matters built on a system tasked with perpetuating unfair advantages for a select few. James. No. James. No, cannot. listen to me. We are the problem. Look, all of us sit here and do nothing as my innocent best friend, who probably has more character than all of us in this room combined, rots in a cell. But instead of addressing that, or helping him, or actually using these benefits and privileges that we have, you just sit there and you ask me if I want my car back. So, no, Your Honor, I do not accept the readmission of that. I am so sorry. I will take care of things. I will give you a call. It's all so clear now. To accept that card is to accept the way things are. It's to fold into a crooked society. Dad, I know you love me and that you truly see the good in all of this, and I know you're proud of our family history. You said so yourself. The benefits that I have been given since birth are unimaginable to others, to blanks. Ethan does not deserve to be in jail, and as my eyes continue to be open towards the truth of our world, our true reality, I see that I do not deserve to be here either. I do not deserve to be here in this big house with this bright future and this white card. I truly wonder if in your heart you think the same about yourself, if you've ever doubted whether the origins of your success lie within that card or your own efforts. I hope this leads you to ask those questions, to understand the real purpose behind what we're given. I hope this leads you to do something good. I'm not strong enough to live like this. Or maybe, perhaps, I'm not weak enough. Bullshit. I see the inmate. We have eyes on the blank. Fair, stop where you are. Put your hands on your head. 
Sir, do not turn. Sir, don't do. Sir.